Now that your Google Classroom is created, you're able to start modifying it to your needs. Now, first, I'd like to point out that the tile is here. If you see these three dots, those are always magical, so we want to click on them. The first option is to move. So if you need to organize your classrooms, you can actually drag and drop them, or if I want it to be here below Google Forms, I can do that. But it's back behind my picture now. I'm just going to drag it back to where I needed it. I can copy the invite link. That's to share this classroom and invite others to join it. I can edit. So if I misspelled example or classroom, or if I needed to add more information, that's how you can do that. You can also copy the course, which I'm not going to do, but if you have resources from before, you can copy them or you can archive. And what that means is it kind of deletes the course. It doesn't delete it, it archives it, and it's no longer in your list. 